All right, welcome to Mixed In. Uh, in this episode, we're going to see some crazy stuff. And uh, I haven't showed all the pictures to uh, William yet. This is from I looked at any of them. This is from Dipley.com. And it says <laughs> that it's, uh, uh, what we're looking at is 15 weird animals you didn't know exist. If we're talking about the ostrich, I know that one. <laughs> the ostrich. All right. The well, ostrich. so okay. here's, here's the first picture that they're showing. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, this, this is just an example of what's in here. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it's not missing which boy. Well, that okay. is going to be one of them. Okay. But, um, but so let's go down to this first one. So this is often, this is so bizarre. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can, um, Paku, it's a, I think it's called a Paku fish. It has human teeth. Okay. What? Uh, it's not really human teeth, but similar. They're actually related to the piranhas. But look at this fish. Does that what not look the like? The, that looks like it has human teeth. Yeah. Those just look like. I mean, that is so bizarre. I think he has gingivitis. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, I mean, they're not like fish teeth. They're not like yeah. They're not yeah. like shark teeth. Or they look whatever. like actual human teeth. Yeah, isn't that bizarre? So it, I think that, that is I weird. It's called a a, a, pap, or a paku. Paku fish? Yeah, Paku. <coughs> so that's number one. Weird. That's, that's an animal, a creature we didn't know it even exists. I guess we, we can harvest them and use our fish for dentures. <laughs> or use our teeth. Use our fish for dentures. <laughs> yeah, dentures. why not? Use our teeth for dentures. <laughs> so this is, uh, uh, it's called a, a hummingbird hawk. Hummingbird. It's actually a moth. So check that out. So what does it say there? This strange little creature is actually an, an insect. insect. Yeah. But that looks like a moth. I mean, a hummingbird, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It looks weird. It's tiny. It is tiny. Pretty cute, though. I've never seen one of those. I know there's just like a t- couple trillion different types of... of uh, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it... <laughs> so, it, it's called Ooh. an atrio... An uh, atritacana. <laughs> so, this animal is a Sicilian, which is a class of amphibian that resembles worm, worms or snakes. Looks strangely like something else. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks very much like something else. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Sorry for the cuss words. <laughs> but that just caught me off guard. Okay, this next thing is called a goblin shark. Okay. So it's often referred to as a living fossil. The beast grows 10 to 13 feet in length and comes from a lineage that, that's 125 million years old. Look at this guy. Mm. Oh yeah, that's, that's, real. that's a, a goblin shark. Can you imagine? That, that looks like a goblin. I mean, look at that. Look at those crazy, yeah, teeth. So that's that's a, it's a real thing then. Yep. Yeah. Look at his eye. It and it has a it has looks like, like a, a human eye. It has like a unicorn thing going on. Yeah. Like a spike. And he's got gills and fins. It looks to me, since he's all wrinkly like that, that the it's pressure is um, not right when he's up here. Mm-hmm. He's actually probably a super deep. Probably. Thing. It looks, probably looks a little less wrinkly when he's down there. Can you imagine being a sailor <laughs> back in the 17th, 18th Catch century and things? seeing something like that? If I saw something like that, if I caught something like that, <laughs> yeah, I would think there were like, you know, humongous octopuses and yeah. what is that thing? The, the mermaids even. Rachni or whatever. The, what was that thing <laughs> called? The big squid oh, the, the, um, uh, Yeah, the uh, Kraken. The cra- yeah, the Kraken. Uh, yeah, I would believe in them. The Krakens. Yeah, that looks. I don't. I, I okay, think that's that's, a, that's like an ad. Okay, okay, we'll go to the next picture. Good. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know what the heck that was, but it didn't look good. <laughs> so this is um, the Galapagos batfish. Um, this uh, this fish is incredibly strange, not only because of its bright red lips, but also because it's highly adapted to walk on the floor, making it a, an incredibly poor swimmer, despite its dorsal fin and tail. <laughs> So look at this guy. He's cool looking. Oh, wicked. Yeah, yeah look like at his legs. Around. Little legs and stuff. <laughs> but it looks like a like it has bat wings. Yeah, that's why it's called a bat. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, what do they call it? The, the, the bat? Galapagos bat batfish. Well, that just shows how much I'm paying attention to <laughs> But uh, yeah, that looks pretty wicked. And, and it's a poor swimmer, huh? That look at his big red lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a it's a bat clown. It's like the Joker and the Batman and uh, Aquaman put together, yeah. all in one. Only that it's it's completely terrible fighting crime because all it can do is walk on the bottom of the sea. 
I bet you when you when somebody first saw that, it was like, yeah, I mean, I'm, the only thing I, I can think of to, to name it is that. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> We're going to call this the Silly Clown Batman Fish. So this one's called, I, I don't know if I, I can even say this right, but um, Ambonia Spinosa. Ambonia uh, Spinosa. And it says, the caption on here says, this isn't a banana, but an insect. Ah. What? Yeah. That, that is, is wicked. Cool. It's tiny. Yeah. Look at that. that is wicked. He's got like a really weird, you know, top he, of his. Yeah. It looks like it's a banana. Yeah. Look at his eyes, though. Yeah. Like it's a busted open banana on the Like the sides. I mean, those are wings and stuff. But I mean, how does this thing fly with that so top heavy like that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but probably not very well. Yeah, probably not very good. It's like the it's like the Batman fish. It just <laughs> it doesn't swim very well, even though it's underwater. Yeah, Low, Lowlands Street. Henrik. So it's like four animals in one. This thing is weird. So I'm going to see if I can try to guess what the animals are talking about. But I see that it looks a little bit like an anteater. Yeah, I see the anteater. And it's, maybe that's porcupine? Yeah, definitely porcupine. And um, I can't see the rest of him. So maybe I'm, kind, kind of, of, it looks kind of skunk, like not skunkish, but raccoonish. Yeah. With the colors. And it is feet there, but yeah. yeah it has wicked claws. He's cool. Yeah. I've never seen one. It's like the duck-billed platypus. That's a weird thing. I think those are extinct, though. No, they're still good. Are they? Yeah. Those are weird. Duck-billed platypus. So this is this next one. Mantis shrimp. Hands down the coolest animal on the earth. It moves so quickly that the water around it boils, which is called supercabination. What? Wow, he's cool looking. Look at that. Yeah. And it can boil water with its body? Just because he moves so fast. Yeah. That is freaky. That's fast. It's wicked. It looks like... It looks I can like do that, that, too. I'll show we you later. We don't... We we'll don't go swim in. We don't have I'll to... Boil we water. don't have to use energy to boil water anymore. <laughs> we just let Chris do it. <laughs> and we'll hire a bunch of these guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's squash. Yay, I got squash. Sweet. Okay, so now we're on number nine. And uh, this one is uh, uh, a poodle moth. Ooh, it's a poodle moth. Always wanted one of those. Ah, he's cool. Ah. That's that's pretty wicked. That's, that, that, that would that's so much like a tarantula. It looks like a tarantula, doesn't it? Yeah, he's very furry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very furry. Yeah, I'll see if I can look. If I can look, look. So he, he's got the wings mm -hmm. on the. I mean, yeah, he looks his, like his little eyebrow things. Those are like feathers. Yeah, really weird. Really like it smells or tastes or whatever. It is. Okay, so this is a giant isopod. <laughs> so imagine this thing walking around, and you had to kill it. <laughs> a shoe wouldn't work. It grows up to 14 inches. Look at this thing. Holy moly! Ick. That's just gross. <laughs> That's awesome. You can totally take those and build some kind of space age armor out of it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, it, Too bad it doesn't tell us where this is We at. have little things that kind of look like that, but we just call them little potato bugs. Maybe they're all yeah, over the... Yeah, and they, they, they roll up. Mm -hmm. Roll up all these. Yeah. But this brand gets... I wonder if they big. roll up too. <laughs> Bowling balls! Oh. We'll take one. So we'll, here, here's the top of it. This is what it looks like underneath. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Oh, screw! I'm not touching it. <laughs> this guy's it's holding a it. Crab. <laughs> it looks like a, it's probably dead though. Reminds me of what they used on the when, when they made Ugh. the Alien when they made the Alien movie. That's what it looked like uh, yeah, inside yeah. and his legs and stuff. Just oh, it's just gross. I'm gonna zoom yeah. in on this one so you guys can really get. Yeah, close that's on. that's actually Predator's mouth right there. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. So this next one, number eleven, is the Bush Viper. It looks uh, like a dragon. Look at this. I don't want to see a snake. Look at that. He looks like a dragon. <laughs> It does. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Are you, are you, you sort of have a fear of snakes? I hate snakes. I hate the fact that they slither yeah. around. That one, look at his slither. colors. I mean, his scales look cool. Yeah. It does look like a dragon. Yeah, it does. It looks really cool. The reason why I don't like snakes is a long time ago, I was watching an interview with, uh, what's his name, John Lemons. Lemons the guy played Mario, or Luigi in Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> John Lezium. <laughs> I can't say his name. But anyways, he played in a movie called The Pest. In the movie, at some point in time, they had a snake crawl over his lap. Ooh. Now, during the interview, he was talking about this part, and it showed the footage of him laying there as a snake, and the people are trying to direct the snake over his lap. 
the snake just gets up and just bites him right in the thigh. Ooh. And they're trying to rip this thing off his thigh. And you see him there just like, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, man. And after seeing that, ever since I saw that, I'm like, I don't like snakes no more. Yeah, if I uh, saw that, I probably John would have a, a nice healthy fear of snakes, too. John Lenzani. Hmm. I, I like him. I think he's funny. But anyways. Well, the next one is called a Blue Parrotfish. This happy-looking guy needs teeth so he can grind... Um, uh, rocks into sand. Yummy. Really? Look, look, look at this. Look at this. He's got a little smiley face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. He's, like, he's, he's, big. <laughs> he's a big fish, too. I'm surprised we haven't seen him in a, in a cartoon somewhere. I know. Here you go. He, look, he looks What's so, going on? Yeah, you can. <laughs> I need rocks. I need to make sand. Yeah. You guys want some yeah. sand? I can make some sand. <laughs> That's funny. And he has like a he has a gap in there too. You see that? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> How do you grind rocks with teeth like that? I don't know. That. Yeah. Maybe it's the back teeth they're talking about, but <laughs> yeah. But the front teeth look funny. It's an ad. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay. So next number thirteen is a purple frog. This frog is so unique. That it comes from its own um, genus, uh, things not moving, and genus and species. Look at this guy. He is that is a bizarre that's a frog. Purpose. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty. He's purple. Pretty. Is that purple? That's like a. Yeah, I guess it is kind of a grayish purple. He's got a weird, it's like weird face. Is, it's a weird color tint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like me when I'm when I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this next one, the o- Okapa, Okapia. Uh, this comes from uh, the family of Giraffidae, I guess. Giraffidae. Yeah, a so group that family. only uh, contains uh, giraffes and and this animal. So I've I've already, we've all seen giraffes, mm-hmm. but I didn't know that that guy was from the giraffe family. Yeah, kind of looks like his his legs there. look a lot like it. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have to say it resembles more of a. More of a zebra. Type he's got donkey. He's got zebra lines and stuff. Yeah, but know. his neck's not, yeah, very large. not very long. But, but I guess it, you know you don't really need a long neck. Yeah, but but can. but look at the ears and stuff. That when you yeah. see a giraffe and its face, it's got a giraffe. Face. Its legs too. Look at its its legs yeah. down there, nice and like the whole thing and stuff. The only thing that's missing is the super, super long, long neck. neck. Yeah. yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Mm-hmm. It's very cool looking. Oh, what the hell is that thing? So this is uh, a number fifteen. It's a sea pig. It's actually his actual name is is a uh, uh, Scotoplans Scotoplanes, um, but but this weird looking thing is that uh, are actually sea cucumbers and are the only locomotive, uh, yeah, legged ones or whatever. So these ones move around. So it's a sea cucumber, but the bottom is just, those are little legs. Even on it, on it there, it's his leg. Um, is the leg grown on the back. <laughs> I'm not gonna say yes or no, but I would say it looks more like a like a like a potato. Yeah, it moves around though with those legs that are on the bottom. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and that's what one looks like in the, in the guy's hand. Oh, okay, <laughs> I can see how you can kind of make that a piggish looking thing. That that's it's gross. very clear. That's really gross. Why would you put that in your hand? <laughs> yeah, that's really sick. really. <laughs> yeah. well, what do you know? You know. <laughs> But that thing could be poisonous. As soon as you touch it, that's it. Maybe it is. Maybe it's like, like a, like a high or something. Yeah. Like, hey man, did you lick this toad? No, dude. You gotta hold this pig. You know? <laughs> you hold the pig. <sighs> my favorite one was that. My favorite one was that shark. The shark with the big unicorn yeah. thing with yeah. the nasty old teeth. I like yeah, him. Yeah, that was pretty cool. He's gross. Yeah. But yeah, so there's 15 creatures that you didn't even know existed, guys. Now you got to see some. <laughs> and that was from Diply.com. Diply. Diply or Diply or Diply. Oh, dip, that looks like Diply to me. Diply.com. Yeah, Diply. All right. Well, thanks Dipley. for watching uh, this episode of Mixed Dipley. In. Hey, let's uh, subscribe right here if you haven't. We'll put a big old flash and subscribe guy right there. And uh, you know what? It really um, uh, helps a lot if you uh, click like if you liked it. So click like. It makes us feel good yeah. about mm-hmm. ourselves. Yeah, it sure does. And uh, if you're good. watching this on Facebook, share it with your friends. Share it because you got friends I don't have, so I can't reach them. Can mm-hmm. you share it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Everybody be my friend. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Later.